Uh, Shirley, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Remember doing your basic training? I do. <laughs> it was in, where is it? It was in New Hampshire? It was in the Masonic Hall in North Woodstock, New Hampshire. Wow. Yeah, it says trauma. It's etched in my memory. <laughs> that sounds exciting. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I remember the girl who sat in her chair with her legs crossed and her arms crossed. Yes. Saying, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Share with me what you got out of your participation in the basic. Wow. I think the biggest thing I got out of the basic training was how, uh, one of the th big things was how defensive I was I, in my life, everywhere, and angry, and definitely scared. Definitely scared. Sure. So, and, and my complaints, the complaints that I had that I held on to that anger with were, were really not about anyone else. And I wanted to make them about everyone else. Sure. And I got to see that it wasn't anyone else. It was only me. That was a freeing insight. And it was so fucking liberating. Can I swear? <laughs> yes, it's okay. okay good. <laughs> That's great. So after your basic, how did you, how did you experience you and your world differently? Wow, after basic, it was really crazy after basic because well, the first thing I did was go home and have a conversation with my husband. And he was, he rescues me, he still does. Um, and I wanted to be taken care of. And I remember going home feeling, uh, really having such clarity about the relationship and how I, who I'd been in it. And I sat down with him and I said to him, I said, I, I realize that I don't need you. I don't need you that way anymore. And I, I can do this. I can take care of myself and I can be responsible. And he started to cry. He got, he got really scared, I think, and really sad. And he said, I don't know who I am anymore if I'm not that, that to you. And, um, and as a result of that, he actually went and did the training himself. Wow. And, um, when I did the training, actually, I, we were on the verge of probably not being together when I did that, did that training. And as a result of the training, we, uh, it's, that's been about 10 years now, and we're to celebrate our 30th anniversary. So, Congratulations. Yeah. It was you were sharing that. I really felt emotional. I know the both of you, you know, so yeah. that was great. Yeah. I, I haven't heard that story before. You didn't hear that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was really, really emotional when, when I went home and shared with him. Wow, that's great. Uh -huh. And that's what the basics about, you know, driving that type of intentionality in our communication. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's always been there, you know, that, that conversation that you could have with him. Yes. It yes, was always it was, there. It was always there, but I, I didn't have the capacity. I couldn't see. I couldn't see that I had the capacity to have that. I had, didn't have that insight in myself to, to, under, to get that I had that, that, I could have that conversation, you know? It was just amazing. It was amazing. And from there, it, it, it was like the conversation occurred everywhere in my life with people in my life. And, and it was like this thing that just started to build and it just got really big. And it was like exciting and invigorating and just really amazing in who I was being, who I had the capacity to be. Wow. Yeah, you certainly driven have driven change through your life that's great is there anything else about the basic or the advanced or your participation in the community that you want to share um i everything about my participation in the training it's been gone on for a long time i mean it's been 10 years since my basic or close to it i think this is the 10th year and or we're moving into the 10th year and i have continued to participate and um, probably more off more years than not. There were a couple, there were a couple of years that I was, was doing other things, but as a result of the, the basic and the advanced, all the other work that I did in relationship to this training, I, I am, have the ability in my family because many of my family members have done it. Uh, the way we communicate with each other is a direct result of um, our ability to be in communication now um, and break down and, and 
find resolution through a type of communication that allows us to tell the truth and be honest, but also, also to listen and get accountable. And it has, for me, it's transformed how my family communicates in a way that we didn't have access to. And it's kept us, it's kept us uh, open and has kept us available. And yeah, so when my mother died, she had a breakdown with her sister who she had been close to her whole life. And I, I cannot stop thinking about how, about the possibility that was available to them that they had no idea was there. And they didn't have to die uh, without mending that relationship. I understand. So with my sisters, we have a pact that we will not let that happen. And the communication that we learn through the training has created our, the, that possibility. Why do you think your uh, mom and sister were so disconnected? Um, I think that they, because they, they had a silly disagreement that they neither of them were willing to or able to be accountable for their part in that in the misunderstanding but also in being committed to being right about their position they, they were they both had a position and they weren't willing to let go of it they weren't willing to move past that being right about the way they saw it the way they thought it was why is that so important why, why was being right about the way they saw it? Why was that so important to them? Well, I would say because they, it was safe for them. They, it was an element of safety in them being right about their position. And that, it's wild, you know, it's, it's wild. I mean, that's what you were just talking about a moment ago with, with Peter, that yes. you were able to see past the positioning Yes. That you were in with him. Yes. Yes. That for me, that is the, that is the uh, def defining, uh, I, I want to call it insight, but maybe that's not the correct word. But I, when I see people in position and they're unwilling to let go of it, it's like, it, first of all, it's not real. And second of all, it's like, um, it's like holding on to, it's like, well, it's safety. But I, for, for enable, to be able to see it, like most of the world can't see it. It's an identity. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So then to see it, which means to see that what they've created is a position. That's right. Is what? It's... Well, it's, it's insight. You ready? Yeah. Is to die. That's correct. Yes, to die. Yes, that would be the fear, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Look, if it's an identity, if it's yeah. who I am, Yes. right? And I'm going to see past, right? I'm going to yeah. see past who I am. Yep. What happens to who I am? Yeah, it goes away. Yeah. Right. It, Welcome to the basic training. Yes. You just froze on me. Let's see if you make it back. You back? So it's who I am if I'm not that. Yes. Say it again. You just froze. Say what you just got again. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I, okay, I don't know. Last, if I thing, missed... I, last thing I said is, um, is who I who am I if I'm not that? But right. It... Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you froze. I don't know if I missed anything. Oh, okay. I don't. Think but so. Yeah. So I want to do it again because I think it's so profound. Which is. Okay. I find myself getting trapped in the position. Mm -hmm. Then I define myself as that position. Mm -hmm. And then there's nothing beyond that position, right? Yes. And so the possibility is that human beings can learn to distinguish themselves from the positions they establish themselves yes. as. Yes. yes. They can distinguish themselves from who they think they are. Yes. Right. Yes. And in, particularly in family dynamics, it's always there. And people are always right. <laughs> and yeah, family dynamics are sick, aren't they? Yeah, good? yeah. Oh, they're great. It's like you're so right about that they're right about that thing. 
Right. It's right. like, you know, and they don't want to be, they don't want to be any other way than that they're right about that thing. That's right. And it's like that's, they'll die, they'll die for it and they'll kill for it. That's why families are so wonderful to work with. They're sick. <laughs> okay, I want you to introduce yourself. This is a pretty um, deep or profound conversation. So have people get, you know, your background and, and why we were able to have this talk today. Well, my name is Shirley. And I am a, a, well, I'm lots of things. The things I'm most proud of is that I'm a wife and a mother and a grandmother and a sister and those things. Um, and for work, I, I'm a clinical social worker, so I have a private practice and I work with people every day. And the conversation in my office is this. Yeah, thanks for joining me. Hang on a second, okay? Mm -hmm.